the noise reduction in Audacity has limited capability. If you have been using Audacity for some time, you may know it. Audacity's noise reduction is not useful if you have to reduce noise to a big extent. For example, if you need to reduce more than 6 dB noise using this noise reduction slider, you will notice a difference in audio quality. The more noise you try to reduce, the harsher and thinner the sound becomes. In short, Audacity's noise reduction effect degrades the audio quality. For professional use, we need the highest quality audio possible. Noise reduction is always a tricky problem, and modern plugins can work up to a certain level. In this video, I will show you how to use Waves Clarity VX, one of the best plugins on the market. This is a paid plugin, but you can install a trial version. I suggest trying the trial first before purchasing. Although I am calling this one of the best noise reduction plugins, it has a limitation. This plugin is a neural network based plugin. That means it is trained with a set of data. If the noise in the recording matches with the trained data, it does a good job of reducing noise. It is most likely to work great with regular white background noise. You can confirm it will work great for you using the trial version first. Please note that the plugin works great for regular hissing noise or white background noise. If you have a regular background noise like traffic noise or dog barking, it will not work well that much. The main purpose of using this type of plugin is to reduce the hissing noise without degrading the audio quality. Another good plugin is Supertone Clear. It also works great and has an additional reverb control mechanism. Supertone Clear has a trial version to check it out before purchasing. In this video, I will discuss Clarity VX. Please note that installing Clarity VX or any Waves plugin can be tricky. From the website, go to the Downloads menu. You have to download Waves Central first. All the Waves plugins are downloaded and managed by Waves Central. It is a bit different type of installation process, but if you are using third-party plugins, you may have seen such a process before. I have downloaded and installed Waves Central, and I will open it. Downloading and installing Waves Central is free. Waves have a subscription to use all the plugins, but we do not need that. We are interested only in specific plugins. For example, we are only interested in the Clarity VX at the moment. To install a plugin, you have to click on Install Products. You will see three tabs here, and my products list will be empty for you. Click on All Products to find the Clarity VX plugin. All available plugins from Waves are on the list, and the easiest way to find them is to use Search. Click on the search icon and type in the name of the plugin you are looking for. For us, it will be Clarity VX, typing something will filter down the list. You can see the Clarity VX has appeared in the list. Clarity VX also has a pro version, but we will use the normal Clarity VX. Please note that the noise reduction algorithm is the same in both the standard and pro versions. The pro version has wider use cases, for example, in a live environment. We are using it in Audacity, so we don't need the pro version. For me, it is installed and activated. You have to install it. Click on Clarity VX and then click on Install on the right side. The process of updating a plugin from Waves is the same. You have to find the plugin from Waves Central and update it. You may feel the process is a bit different, but if you follow the steps I showed, it won't be a problem. Let's now see how to use Clarity VX to remove the noise. After installing Clarity VX from Waves Central, you have to check if it is showing in Audacity. To check that, please go to the Effect menu. Check the waves from the list. I have quite some plugins installed from waves, so the list is long. You have to check if Clarity VX is showing in the list. I have a few Clarity VX in the list as I installed different versions of the plugin. For you, there will most likely be one Clarity VX. If no Clarity VX appears on the list, check the plugin manager. The plugin manager is the first item in the effect menu. All your installed plugins will be on the list of plugin manager. Search for Clarity, and you will see the plugins related to Clarity. Make sure the Clarity VX plugins are enabled. If you see multiple Clarity VX plugins, please enable all. If you do not see the Clarity VX plugins, you can either rescan to see the updated list or quit Audacity and open again. If Clarity VX is showing on your effect list, you are ready to remove noise using it. I will show you how to configure Clarity VX. The recording you see on the screen is already processed for the loudness. That means I have taken the loudness level to a proper level to identify the amount of noise I have to remove. I have used the compression sandwich technique to increase the loudness. Ideally you should apply the noise reduction effect after the first normalize and before compression. However, we do not yet know the ideal Clarity VX configuration is for this recording. The compression sandwich will give us an idea of the proper waves configuration for a certain type of recording. We can use that configuration later without much thought. I will now check the current ACX values for this recording. 
the peak and RMS levels are ideal, and the noise floor needs at least a 10 dB reduction. Let's see how to do that using the Clarity VX. To use Clarity VX, select everything inside the track and go to the Clarity VX effect. I have installed multiple versions of Clarity VX. All the versions are appealing here, and I will open the latest. The latest version is 15 at the time of making this video. If you have only one Clarity VX, then you don't have to worry about this. However, I am using Clarity VX Mono because I am working on a mono track. If you have a stereo track, you have to use Clarity VX Stereo. The configuration window of Clarity VX is quite simple with only one knob to configure. Clarity VX is a neural network based plugin. You can select which type of neural network to use. The options basically represent which algorithm you want to choose. However, we don't know what is actually happening behind the algorithm. Our approach has to be which one gives the best result. From my experience, Broad 1 gave the best result. You can test between Broad 1 and Broad 2 and check which one works best for you. I do not recommend the last option Broad Echo as that is basically a low CPU version of the algorithm. I will select the Broad 1. For the knob, I recommend using a value between 40 to 70%. The more percentage you set, the more noise will be removed. However, the more noise removed, the more the audio quality will degrade. Your job would be to find a sweet spot where you can achieve the desired level without affecting the audio quality much. I will set it around 40% and check how much noise is getting reduced. Click on Apply. It takes a little bit of time to process. The noise reduction has been applied, and I will check the ACX values now. Please note that the noise floor was around minus 50 dB before the noise reduction was applied. The new noise floor is now minus 65 dB. Though the peak level is out of range, it can be fixed by applying a minus 3 dB normalize. The reduction in the amount of noise is quite impressive. However, if you want a lower noise floor value, you have to apply a bigger percentage in the knob. Let me show you what I mean. I will undo the noise reduction. I can do it from the edit, undo Clarity VX Mono. I will open the Clarity VX config again. I will set a bigger percentage on the knob again. Please remember a value between 40 and 70 will work for most of the voice recording. Find settings that work for your voice and use that in all your voiceovers that are recorded using the same recording setup. I will set it around 60 this time. I will apply this setting. In the last noise reduction we got around minus 65 dB. This time, it decreased a little further to minus 68 dB. If you want to get a lower noise floor, apply more percentage on the noise reduction knob. You also have to make sure the audio quality is okay after noise reduction. Let's listen to it before and after. This idea states that if you strongly desire something, this will almost magically become true. This idea states that if you strongly desire something, this will almost magically become true. The universe will help you. You may have noticed that the hissing noise could be heard clearly before noise reduction. After noise reduction, it has decreased. I hope you got an idea of how to use the Clarity VX plugin. If you want in-depth coaching in Audacity or Adobe Audition, I have launched a premium consulting service. The premium consulting service is now available for audiobook narration. People learn better when they learn by doing and get instant feedback on their actions. Premium consulting is in total 8 video calls with me. The first 6 video calls are hands-on tutorials on audiobook editing. The other 2 video calls are for when you need to solve specific issues. You will get details about the consulting service in the description link. If you want to know more, you can email me. You will find my email address in the description.